Okay, um, first thing you want to do is install Docker. So you can go to your package center, and then you can just search for Docker. Click on the install. And you can notice right here that I don't have a folder called Docker, but once it installs, there will be a folder. So once Docker's installed and running, if you open up your file station, you have a Docker folder. And you have a new Docker icon. You come over to your Synology surveillance station and open it up in the app or in, in the web and then you go to action rules and you're going to need to set up two action rules uh, one to send the, the webhook and one to receive a webhook to record so whenever your camera receives uh, senses motion it will send out a webhook so we're going to add that one. I'm just going to make new ones just so you can follow along so you want to call this one something like uh, trigger on motion and then the name of your camera so you can identify it. You know, click next. You want to select the camera. Mine's already selected. And then motion detected. And then next. And now this is the action. This is what action occurs once it senses motion. So you want to do a webhook and then under URL you're going to get the web you're going to get the URL of where your docker is so and then slash webhook and you're going to use the port that we set up in docker and then the method that's going to be used is going to be a post and here you have three choices but you're going to use the application x ww this one so <coughs> in the body this is where we send some additional information over to the uh, to the Docker. So first first thing is going to be which camera it is. So mine is number one. So it's the first camera. The second information is the confidence level. So DeepStack finds objects and it'll say I'm this percent sure that's what it is. So like if it has kind of a good picture, it'll be like you know 70 percent. I think this is a person. So this is where you put the minimum level that you want it to trigger. So if you put 90 and it thinks 80% it's a person, it's not going to trigger to record. So 50 is a good starting place and then a comma. And then we're going to need some information to go next in our next action. So I'm just going to skip that for now. Uh, the rest of this is fine. Uh, next uh, schedule just always active unless you want to do something different. So this is the one we just created. So now we have to add the webhook to get re to receive the information. So we're going to name it, you know, um, and then the camera name because it's it's tied to that camera. So then the event is webhook and this interval in seconds is how long you want it to record once it gets triggered so here you might want to put you know however long you know 15 20 seconds you know whatever you want to put but this is in seconds how long the recording will be so well for this I'm just gonna put 15 seconds uh, webhook so right here it says token equals so you're going to need to grab everything after that token equals and copy it.
and then just hit next. Uh, the action is to start action rule recording. Well, this has a duration too. I don't Not sure which one of those would be the one that does that, but active, finish. And so we have our event. Oh, I guess the interval is how long it should ignore the event before it can happen again, I'm guessing. I guess duration. I guess this would be the recording duration, so 10 seconds. And I could be wrong, so maybe test that out. So now we have these two action rules set up. So now we're ready to move on to the next step. But before we move on, there's one thing I did want to mention about this. So it takes a few seconds for DeepStack to evaluate um, the, pic the image that it takes. So one thing that's handy is if you come in here and edit your camera and you have your recording seconds, I mean your recording settings, this pre-recording, now if you read this, it, it, it affects memory because it, it loads up memory from the past. So let's say this is set at 15 seconds. And let's say that it takes deep stack, you know, five seconds to send a response back saying that it found the object you were looking for. So that means the recording will start 10 seconds before the event happened. Um, so if that makes sense. All right, so next thing is to install DeepStack. So you go to Docker, you go to the registry, and then you search for this oh. once it loads It's, and I'll put it down in the description what you look for. Well, maybe. So this is it right here. And you can click here to go to the Docker Hub to get information about it. So click download. And then choose the latest version. Now there's a lot of versions, but the latest works fine. So select that. And then if you come over to images, be downloading. So you'll just have to wait for it to finish. So the overall download is 3 gigabytes, so it might take a little while for it to download. And then in your containers, you don't have it, but so once it's finished downloading, it'll be filling up this little hard drive thing. And once it finishes, you just click launch. And then you'll have to set some settings up in here. So you want to go to advanced settings, enable auto restart, and then go to volume. And uh, you don't have to set up any volumes in here. Network, leave it on bridged, and then the port settings. Now the container is already going to be filled in, but you don't want to do auto port. You want to set this to match our other stuff, so 83. 
And if you click apply, it's going to go away. So just click off of it. Then go to links, environment. And this environment is where you have to set up some additional environment variables. Now you can find them on deep stack, but I already know what they are. So the first one, and I assume it's case sensitive. So the first one is the event detection. And then the value for that is a capital T true. Okay, then click off of it. And then you want to add one more and it's going to be mode. Okay, so mode has three values. It has low, medium, and high. And that's how hard, or I guess the performance of deep stack. So the higher the mode setting, the more work it's going to do. So this is going to depend on the horsepower or the CPU in your NAS. So uh, it's going to make the image take longer to process. So in this case, I have a just, you know, this is just a um, smaller CPU NAS. So I'm just going to put low for this example. And when all, once all that's filled in, just click apply. And then next just review it make sure you got everything in mode low vision detection true so the vision detection true deep stack has a couple different i guess functions they can do vision detection face detection uh, face recognition um, we're only using the vision detection true um, later on i think i'm going to add in some stuff to use the face detection uh, but i'm still kind of playing with that so once this is done, you want to run the container after the wizard finished, so click apply. And then now when you go to containers, it's up it's up and running. And you can click on it and then go to details. You can see it's running. You can see the port. You can see your environment variables. So now DeepStack's running. Next thing is the Python program that that I had put together. So you can come here and you can search for MDKRESHR, I think. And this is it. So you want to click on it. You can go here to the little helper page from Docker. I put the instructions in here. So if you have trouble, you could look there too. Um, so then I'm going to download it. And I think while it's downloading, if you go over to your Docker folder, you're going to need to set up two folders for, um, for this application. So it looks like it, uh, Okay, so this is what I was talking about. It looks like it's downloading, so I have to wait for that. But you need to, so go into the Docker folder, and uh, I usually create a parent folder. So create folder and uh, Synology AI. You can name it whatever. And then inside of this folder, you're going to want to create two other folders. So create a um, config folder and then you're going to want to create an image folder I mean the name is not that important it is in the docker application but in here you just need to have them so that's done and uh, Actually, since that's still running, so inside of your config folder, um, you're going to need to create a text file um, that's a JSON text file. So I already have it, so I'm just going to copy it in here. And there's instructions. Now, this settings has configuration stuff for this application. So I'll put an example down in the uh, comments. 
but it needs to go into the config folder and it's called settings.json and it can open up with a text. Okay, once it's finished downloading it, looks like it popped down to the bottom. You can click on it and then click launch. And uh, again, we're gonna go to advanced settings, enable auto restart, volumes. Now this is where we're gonna have to add those folders that we had created in Docker. So add folders, Docker, that folder. So the first one I'm gonna add is the config. Select it. Now in here, it has to be slash config. Okay, click off, add a folder. Select, and then this one is slash image. Okay, so then we're gonna go network, bridge, spine, and then we need to add the ports. So in here, this one is 4242, and then the container port is 5000. And everything else is good. Apply, and then next, everything looks good. Run after the wizard finished, is checked. So then we click apply. So, so now if you didn't have your um, config file in there, you may have to add it and then restart it. So then we go to container, and then we have this running, then we have deep stack running. So now we can come back over to our Synology surveillance station, go back to the action rules, and here's the trigger on motion that we that we created so we can go to action and then down here we can test send and it was successful so then we can go back to the Synology details log and so it's actually so each one of these sections is a uh, webhook received processing Grabbing image, uh, object was under confidence level on camera one. So what that means is this confidence level is whatever was found, it was less than 50% sure that it was what it was. And then you can go to your folder, Docker, Synology, then your image folder. And then these are the ones, if it didn't, if it was under the confidence level, it didn't record or send an image. If it sent an image, it means it recorded at that time. So there's a person. There's some people. Person, dogs. So that's that. I uh, I plan on doing other stuff with this, but um, this is the basic version for now. If you do download it from here, one thing, make sure that you get the alpha one version. Uh, the regular alpha version isn't working properly. So thanks a lot.